Hello folks and welcome. So today I'm going to talk about the Cinnamon desktop for Linux Mint uh, and mostly about Windows, a window. I'll talk about moving buttons. I'll talk about the area that senses this thing for resizing. I'll talk about the Alt Tab Switcher, how it presents your icons when you're switching between applications. And then I will uh, talk about the behavior of buttons such as an action like this where this imaginary line here at the top of your title bar performs an action. You probably didn't realize that that actually does that. A lot of people are always aiming for that button. In either case, I'm going to talk about those little features. This uh, video is for anybody running Linux Mint 21.1 Cinnamon Desktop. If you don't know anything about my videos, they all have timelines or chapters. I do encourage that you go read my about section because one of the uh, comments that I make in there is Linux is for any age. And also take a look at my, uh, my community tab. All of my videos are searchable and I have quite a few videos on Linux Mint Cinema. And a couple I think on, on different uh, other Linux Mint um, systems or desktops. I'm going to close that and right click on my panel bar and talk about system settings for a second. You can go to the mint menu and do the same. But I'm going to talk about Windows here today. Mostly. I'll make one mention of scroll bars toward the end. So moving these buttons around is a piece of cake. You just slide that over and you got uh, right or left. Okay, I think most people probably can figure that one out pretty easily. But this one here, a lot of people overlook. And uh, what that means is um, action on title bar, double click, Toggle maximize. That means tap, T tap, tap. If you're using a touchpad, maybe, or as in my case, I'm using a standard computer mouse. It's USB based with a scroll wheel on it. Just tap, tap on that bar. Okay. So there's some other options though. Now, if you are going to alter anything on this menu, first of all, it does affect some other things in your system. But more importantly, if you are making any changes to anything in your system, I always recommend screenshots. Whatever the subject I'm talking about, whenever you alter things, that goes along with all of my other videos for other distributions also. Screenshots are always a good idea. That way you have a reference to go back to in case something doesn't work right for you. Okay, all right, now I'm gonna move on to behavior. All right, so I'm gonna drag my mouse around. Hopefully you can see the blue sky here and you can see my mouse change after a certain time, like right there. What that means is it's the resizing part. I'll make it smaller. All right, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna change the sensing to almost a full inch. I'll do the same on the top. All I'm doing is when I get that symbol, I click and hold my mouse button so I can resize that box. This is default. This is uh, narrower. In other words, it's almost impossible to get a hold of. You can see it kind of flickering. That line represents where yours is currently. So I'm gonna make mine in between. So now I have this large area for sensing to drag, drag that bigger, okay? Let's talk about this one here. I'm gonna open up a couple of games. I'll open up that card game and I'll minimize it. And then I'll open up another game and minimize it. It's a billiards game. Alt tab switcher. This is where you have applications or program open and you wanna switch between them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the alt key and hold it down and hit the tab key just to give you the reference. Okay, so right now I can switch between these two guys, three guys. All right, so first of all, my simple screen recorder is running and I have to have that here. And then I have the um, billiards game and then I have the settings box here. Starting at the bottom is timeline. That's what that looks like. I'm gonna hit, I'm holding down the alt key and hitting the tab to switch between the applications. And I'll switch back to that and switch this over to cover flow. And then I'll hit uh, hold down the alt key and tab to switch between these guys. There's a ton of different combinations is what I'm getting at. Well, not a ton, but there's several. So this is something you can experiment with. 
I believe the default is that one. Or maybe it's that one. Anyways, cover flow and timeline, some people may find interesting. All right, there's one more item I'm gonna talk about, and that has to do with your, um, your file manager with the default mouse um, settings. <clears throat> so anyways, I am resizing these icons with the default mouse settings by doing this. You may have seen my videos already on the, on the file manager uh, Nemo. It's just like pulling this back and forth, but I'm doing that with uh, a keyboard combination with my computer mouse scroll wheel. Again, I'm using a standard mouse, not, not a touchpad. However, with the touchpad, you can hold down the control key and use two fingers to slide up and down on your touchpad and achieve the same results or similar results. See the size of the scroll bar? Okay, I'm gonna change that up. So I'm gonna right click and go to system settings for a second and jump from windows to themes, just for a second, just because it has to do with this window. And then I'm gonna slide this on. This is override current theme scroll bar width. And I'm gonna go from 10 to like a 21. So then I'm gonna close this and reopen it. Since I'm dealing with wallpaper, there's the size of that scroll bar now. <clears throat> so again, I'm gonna resize the icons and you'll see the width of this or the length of the scroll bar change. Not the width, but the length. Okay, because it's in a large icon format and that becomes that size now. And you'll see it move as I scroll back down. And then I'm gonna hold down the control key and scroll up to make that a little bit lot larger because my icons are smaller. So that means this will become larger. You can grab a hold of that, or you can just use your mouse to scroll up and down, providing you're using a standard a mouse. If you're using a touchpad, I believe you use two fingers to scroll up and down. All right, so if you don't like the size of that bar, go investigate this setting right here. Okay, and then you can drag it to whatever width you want it. I'm just using the middle of the road. I have never tried what the maximum looks like, but this might be fun. This might be overkill. Yeah, I think that's a little overkill. <laughs> it's like way too big. Uh, anyways, folks, you get the idea. So let me return that back to where uh, something more reasonable somewhere in that region. So if you want to go back to the default, just slide that off. Probably don't need a screenshot for that, but at least um, you'll know at least where the location of that is. Now that should be a default scroll bar and it's kind of thin. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I have lots more for you on my YouTube site. Take care, folks.